What Larry doesn't understand is we're going to reveal the new Vectra. Are you I'm filming this? This is big. It's coming out later today. What are you? Hang on to your hiney. Is that what it says? Hang on to your hiney? What is that? You know what they say? What do they say? Always keep your ducks in a row. Keep them in a row. You know what I call this one? What do you call that one? Lucky. Lucky? Yep. Lucky duck? Lucky duck. Lucky duck. All foam filled because Larry likes to shoot the decoys. Well, don't believe me. I've never shot more than one decoy in a trip. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to our show this week. We are up in Ashland hunting with our good friend Tommy Hicks from Beyond the Catch. How and doing? I'll tell you, we have got a boatload of characters in here today. <laughs> got our good friend Corey Studer from Vexlar. Hey Corey, I can't believe they actually let you out of the office well, for once, Steve man. Steve said, you know, it's, it's fall and what comes after fall? Winter. Winter. Yes. And, and I'll tell you right now, Santa's little helpers are busy at the shop building vexlars as we speak that's so, good to know it's good to know and we're ready we're well ready for ice. looks like santa's biggest helper box here is uh he's not in the shop good morning i'm not in the shop i'm out here i'm helping somebody uh, i'm helping uh captain tommy hicks this morning captain beyond, tommy beyond the catch he's beyond the catch here. hey uh tommy tell everybody what we got going we here this got, morning the, well the wind is going to be we'll see it's it was west and now it's going northwest Hopefully it doesn't go too much north or our spread's going to be a little off. But Hey, we should tell everybody this was not our spot of choice this Not morning. number one. We tried to go on the east end of the bay. There's a lot more ducks down there. It was just too rough. I mean, they were blowing over the break wall down there. So this is spot number two. There's ducks down here too. Safety um, first. Safety first. It was too rough. We're going to uh, we're gonna do this today, possibly down there tomorrow, or we're going to do a bog hunt for some puddlers tomorrow. Woo, and sounds maybe, good. A little fishing, but I'm not going to talk about that yet. You're not going to talk about it. No. Nope, hey, yet. it's almost open, you guys. Yep. We got about another minute and a half. Hang on to your heinies. I got a feeling it's going to be one of them mornings. Greater bill. Okay. Yeah, now, okay. you know, they, they have definitely dropped the limit of bluebills. What is uh We're at two right now. Up here, two, yep. right? Okay. Yep. We got a nice bundle of birds right at the lake. Woo! Woo! Okay. Take them. I never even got up because I figured you guys had that one bird that done. That sick. Good job. Stay. Stay, Willie. Here. Blue bill? More ducks in the decoys. Gal damn them ducks. Why is it when we leave they go in the decoys? Nice shot, Tommy. Nice shot. Go get it right there. Good boy, Willie. Hey, drop it, dude. Good, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Great bluebill. That's a pretty one. You can get that color on the head. They are beautiful. Yeah, we're using Oh, that was what? That was like fantastic. <laughs> who, sh who shot that? Nice job, Willie. Willie. Double good retrieve. Boy. His first double retrieve. Right. So, and no camera. We were gonna wait until Christmas time, but Ooh. 
you know, people want to know what's new from Vexlar. And, you know, we had the 30s two years ago, and Mr. Bauman, you know, he was like, we got to come up with something new. And we just had to come up with a Vexlar 29. In between the 28 and the 30. And Tommy, we, we revealed it last night. Is this okay, Larry, that we reveal the 29? I'm telling you, I never saw the 29. <laughs> So you I want to know why you were hiding it from well, me last we night, right? Well, I get there a little late, you know, 9.30, we were fishing hard yesterday. It was a slow day. First, we got to go over, let's just go over a couple of the features. Okay, well, yeah. you, you go ahead. I showed it to you. Go ahead. You're, it's got the same standard colors. The, the traditional? The traditional three red, color. orange, and green. Yep. We got uh, brushless. Brush makes zero noise. Oh, I mean, that. not a peep. There's, there's, there's a magnet that is, I mean, it keeps it all together. It does. I mean, it's a great. Have you ever seen a magnet? A magnet? A magnet. On a vex. On a vex. On a vex. No. Really, this has got really it. Great. No. A little bit more compact. Even. It okay. cannot <laughs> sink. What? No, well, it, floats. it floats. And the first Vexlar that you can actually not only take in your sleeper shack, maybe bring it up to your deer stand. Mm -hmm. It'll re like. come yeah, in really yeah, handy yeah, at your deer stand. Deer, deer shack, deer shack. shack but sure. fishing ice houses. Duck boat. Come on. So we got to you the huh? Vexlar 29. The cribbage board. It's a cribbage, cribbage board. 29 hole. Yeah. 29's your best 29's hand. 29's the best hand. Look right at this. There. Magnet. So not only do we got the cribbage board, magnetic pin holder on the back. Peg, peg holder. Peg. Yep. Peg. Peg holder. And Vexlar cards. Are also Vexlar cards, too? It's a great Christmas gift. Any gift. I mean, who wouldn't want a cribbage board? Apparently, Tommy's got one. Tommy I got did. one. First one, the Vexlar 29. There you have it. Revealed on Larry Smith Outdoors. Again. Again. Another, th another first. Another first, like always. Nice shooting, boys. Nice shooting. Holy man. Woo! Nice. Nice. Woo! Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. A little bit slow this morning. We're going to head back to Tommy's house, and we're going to put this big rig away and clean up the birds that we got this morning. And then we're going to go out and do a little jump shooting. Tommy's got some ponds that typically hold a lot of birds, and that's the great part about him. He's always got something else going, so hang on to your heinies. Just cleaning up everything, everybody, and... Uh... Corey's going to marinate these ducks, and we're going to go back out and do a little bit more hunting, maybe even some grouse hunting. This box he sends us to sit here. 20 now has gone out up here. Yeah, They'll come back. So we'll just sit on that big pond. Then okay. four dump, they're sitting there waiting for us, along with others, I'm sure. It's a good spot. We're gonna sneak right up on a rat house. Okay, let's go. We spread out. Luckily, the birds are right in front of me. It's weird. What did I tell you guys? I tell you, he's sticking us in a pond where there's never been a duck before, and he just went up and shot the snot out of him. Basic maneuvers for the Hicks crew there. Yeah. Basic think, maneuvers. I, would do I don't like think that? his. I don't think his dad would do that. Well, what he did was he did that on purpose, so if he missed, he wouldn't be on camera. But we got evidence from this morning. You didn't miss at all. A little. I know I did. I know you for sure. I got some tied up up here. I missed Can a little. Go Let's go. Can we go? I'm, let's go. Are you gonna, gonna, oh, is this or you what? You want to go, go shoot some ducks? Or? So we sent the other yahoos to the south. 
your Vexlar contract might not be so good next year if he sees this. <laughs> Pretty sure Larry got two more just on the slough. They're pretty. No, 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 no. Come on, boys. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Oh. Widget. Widget. Yeah. Nice. Drop it. No bird. Nice job. Nice job, Larry. Hey, gotta love that. I'm gonna put them in your bag if that's okay. What a uh, you know nice was, thing to do in the afternoon, a little pond walk. It's kind of fun too. I kind of like this because you know you're sitting in a boat, uh, basically you know all all day, year. All yeah, when you're in the boat all morning, <laughs> yeah. you know. And this is kind of nice. It's a break. You get to do a little walking. And, you know, you might even see a grouse or two. Can't believe we didn't see no grouse on our little walk in here, but it's awesome. Yeah. Gotta love that. Hey, drop it, drop it. Hey, 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 hey. Here, Mr. Yeah, excited. Mr. Excited, drop it, drop it, drop it. Sit, sit. Good boy, shake. Good boy. Yeah, <laughs> Willie. Good boy. Nice job. Drop it. What do you think? You get some more? You did a good job on that one. Hey, nice. sit, sit, sit. Other side. That's the right way to do it. Wait, wait, no. So wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, hey, sit. What should we do here? Should we go on the back pond? Should we go on the back one? Give me five if we should go on the back one. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go on the back one. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know? When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Too. What kind of lead? What kind of lead did you have on that bird? About well, two, three feet. Okay, that's, yeah. I thought you would add even more. No, nope, about two. Look at the size feet. difference, even on the heads on them birds. Yeah, just a beauty. Yeah, that is. That's a big old northern. It's a big. This green makes it worth a mile and a half walk. It does. I do this any day of the week. It was great exercise. It was. Thank it you. It was nice. Appreciate it. Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey Tommy, I'll tell you what. You are a man that is always has a lot of good tips. And you know, typically your tips are fishing tips, but today obviously we're doing some duck hunting. Let's hear a tip that you have well, for duck hunting. We all know one of my true passions. When it's not fishing season. It's hunting season. It's hunting. Uh, ducks are first, deer are second, I love it all. But anyway, when you get a bird, so we just had this one come back and I'm not gonna uh, definitely put a bird out on camera. I don't want anybody bringing that up. But right. say you have a bird like this one, I wanna mount this bird and it's crippled. A lot of guys will wring their neck and you're tearing the bird up and beating it up. A good trick with these is put the bird down on a flat surface and put your knee on its back. What is that doing, Tommy? You're just gonna break the back, okay. bone and the ribs. Okay. And it puts the bird out quick, no yep. pain, and it doesn't hurt that bird at all. So if you're gonna mount it, the bird's gonna be in perfect shape. And it's the fastest way to kill yep, them. Correct. And that's... When you first do it, it's gonna look like they're not expired, but they're just gonna 
in right. the next couple seconds be done. Axel, want to do that again? Show us. Yep. So you just take the bird, grab it by the two wings, set it on the bottom of your boat or on the land, put your knee on it, and just boop, press down, and you'll done. hear it. You'll hear that bone go. Boop, done. And the bird is done. Bird's done. Yeah. There's nothing, you know, as a hunter, being ethical is really what it's all about. For sure. And so killing that bird as fast as you can, and sometimes that's what happens when you shoot birds or you know or anything that they just need to be finished off, and that's a great way to finish that Correct. bird off. Especially, especially a bird that you're going to put on the wall. No doubt know. about that. Hey, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Boy, Bob. Beautiful. Thank gosh you shot, because yes. we wouldn't have seen these coming. You didn't see them coming? No. Oh, so you wow. shot, we got this one falling out Beautiful. of the sky, and the three drakes. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful birds back here. Beautiful. Look at that curl on them. We got six more that went down just down the slough. Let's go get them. Look at him. Come over here. Look at him. That's a widgeon. Hold on. Look at this Drake Ooh. Mallard. Whoa. Look at this it's one. It's like Christmas. A wood duck? Woo. Look at that one. That's a pretty one. Huh? <laughs> Is that cool or what? Ooh. What's that one? What's that? Another widgeon? Look at this blonde forehead. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, dude. Look at that one. Hey. Tucker, what do you got there, man? Got that? Oh, awesome. I'll tell you what, what a, an incredible day we had today. Started off this morning doing some open water hunting out on the bay in Schwamagon Bay. I'll tell you, Tommy, you know what? I was not shooting so good this morning. <laughs> None of it's tough. Uh, there was a couple times it got windy, the wind changed. So at one point we were 50, 60 yards from the outside of our spread. At one point we're 25. Yeah. But we still did good, and I'll yeah. tell you what, this afternoon, that was absolutely yeah. awesome. Taking the walk through the woods and jumping them ponds, you know, that really paid off. That was really cool. You know, That's so I'm really excited about birds. that. Hey, Corey, yes, yes, sir. I'm, how about you? It was a blast. I really enjoyed the invite, and, um, you know, like we talked about earlier, you know, fall is a great time. You know, you get out hunting, the trails, leaves, and uh, right after that, we jump into ice fishing so yeah and i'll tell you something what i learned today with box if anybody has any plumbing issues right box is the guy yeah, to take care of that the absolutely user. he fixed the toilet today and like i mean it saved the whole day pretty handy it's almost like saving the planet if the hey red green said that Larry. he's the originator of that if the women don't find you handsome they at least gotta find you handy i forgot all about that That's famous right. quote from red That's green right we're to live by and we unveiled the 29 today oh big Christmas. day for oh. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things that happen. Well, the trippage board and, 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 and card set's great. Yeah, great make sure you guys great check Christmas that out, too, at yes. Bexlar. Yep. Hey, Tommy, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you if they want to do some duck hunting. Yeah, you can give us a call, 715-292-4342. Uh, hit us up on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Hey, everybody, make sure you guys check out all of our social media avenues, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate that. Hey, we also appreciate the great service that all our military men and women have given us and continue to give us. Thank you for that, along with all of our firefighters, paramedics, and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents for the great service that they also give us. The best part is we're going to see you guys again next week. And remember, it is a great day to be alive, and thanks for joining us. That's my favorite spot, because then I can see the Mexican restaurant. Oh. Didn't even take the ship that long to go down. Hey, I am <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's, now it's recording, I think. Oh, okay, cool, cool.